Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we take an Inter Milan away from home in the first knockout round, first leg of the Champions League. That is such a mouthful. And then barely away from home in the Premier League. Since you'll ask me, loads has happened. We'll run through all of that. As you can see, we're in February now. I think we left off in end of October, beginning of November. It was a long time ago anyway. But first, just a bit of an announcement. Tomorrow's stream is only going to be out for about an hour and ten minutes. Um, I do have to do the Football League lowdown for the Championship as the league starts at the weekend. So we're doing that on Thursday night at 8.30. So I'll be on at 7 till about maybe about quarter past 8. And then we'll all shift over to hear me talk rubbish about the Championship. So what's happened since you last with me? Well, there was two or three consortiums trying to take us over. And neither of them did. So it put me on a transfer embargo, which is a bit of a pain, but we have brought some absolutely outstanding players in. I'll show you them after showing you the results, because we thought it was all too easy, didn't we? So after the Real Sociedad game, was it a nice game we've seen? It was a nice game. Beat Chelsea 2-1, comfortable win. 3-0 against Brighton away from home, comfortable. Real Sociedad, really comfortable. 3-1 win, Norwich 3-0. We avenged Southampton 4-2, and then this happened. We lost a home to Villa. Now, in this game, we had... 47 shots, and Villa had two with one on target, and we lost 1-0. That's proper FM, that one. PSV, comfortable. Sheffield United, comfortable. And then two losses in a row. Now, it was about this time in December, around about here, that the consortiums came in to take over the club, and all of them were out, and the players went down for some reason. Maybe they thought they were getting sold or something like that. So, that's the only explanation I have, because we've been so good up to this point. And then we lost two in a row. And then... Coming to the January, it was fine. Norwich 2-1, we beat United away 4-2. Stoke 5-1 away from home. Leicester 5-1 at home. Brighton 4-0 in the FA Cup at home. Bristol City 4-0. Leeds 5-0. Fulham 2-1. It was, it was a bit of a difficult one, this one. They did give us a proper game. And then Watford at home 3-0. And it leaves the tables looking a bit like this. We are top of the league, of course. Only 8 points clear of City. At one point, we were like 15 clear of them. But 8 points clear... Raphael's got 30 goals already, we're in February. Fallen's got 28. Raphael, Fallen and Essendon, the top-rated players. Essendon, I, I know it's mad, isn't it? Silva and Brito with the assists there. Raphael and Fallen, player of the matches, and Sogard, second in the clean sheet. So, despite those defeats, it has been going really well. Champions League-wise, we finished top of our group. Can we go back? We've, we've won every single game. I can't. Can I go back stages? No, it's going back years, isn't it? Um, yeah. Anyway, we won every single game. We won 18 points out of 18. Everyone was defeated comfortably, which is which is good. But in the transfer window, we have brought in one of our major targets and one that just popped up on the radar. I thought, you know what, I'm having him. So we are looking to pre replace Brito, who is now staying. He's signing a contract. I know, bizarre. Um, but where are we? Transfer history. We brought in. Now there's loads of players coming here. Because we had loads lined up youngsters coming in and their contracts kind of expired around then and they've all come in here. But we'll go from the top. So, uh, Modern L, decent player, two star currency, five star potential. He's currently on load at Sporting. These aren't the big major ones, so we'll get to them in a second. Esteban Garrido. Again, he's not fantastic, but we all sell him for a profit. He's a Fleetwood at the moment, so we're 7.25 million. So we're going to make a profit on them. Which is the main thing. We bring these players in and they don't come in as good as they thought they were. We sell them on and make a profit. Morris Rach Sudar. Another one. Again, he might be decent. He's a striker. We probably sell him for profit though. It takes ages, doesn't it? Horatio Nunes. He's a good good looking prospect. He can play on either wing really well. Two and a half star current ability. He's already a Premier League player. Four and a half star potential. We got him for 1.2 million and we could sell him for 18.25 if we wanted to. Oscar Alua. Again, his stats are going down a bit, but he's a goalkeeper on loan at Luton. Maybe that's why. If I was in Luton, my stats would go down, let's be honest. Two star corners with the four and a half star potential. Next one, I think, is another goalkeeper. Osvaldo Lopez. He's not actually. Osvaldo Lopez is in the first team squad. He's come in 18 years old, three star potential, current ability already. Five star potential, got some good physicals, got a couple of good technicals and mentals. So he is now cover at left and right back because he can play both. So he's better than Salazar, which is unbelievable. Then Ilan Bogovic, two star currency, five star potential, already on loan at Toulouse for 10.75 million. He's worth now. We made profit on all these, though, went out and gave us money as well. And then we're down to the players we bought. Okay, we spent 110 million. 
You think, where did you get that money from? I'll show you in a second. Stephen Crawford, look at this player. Look at him. Five-star player. We got him from West Ham for 60 million. He's English. So he's not worth, he's worth less than we bought him for at the moment. He's English, though. And he's currently on a five-star ability. He is above Raphael there. Luciano Brito and, and the other guy I'm going to tell you about in a second. But what a player. Crossing. We haven't got any decent crosses. And since he's come in, he's put so many crosses in. It's unreal. And he's scored so many headed goals. He's world class. I'm just made up. We got him. I really am. And there's another one at Spurs on the other wing. I tried to get, but they wouldn't give me. And then Francois de Jong. 80 million. Look at him. Acceleration, pace, dribbling. First touch. Free kick taken. Flair. Oh. He is something else. Costs us 80 million. Could go up to, I think, 110 with add-ons if he gets those add-ons. But we fought off a lot of players for this. So we've spent a lot of money. But we have sold an awful lot of players. And some you might be surprised with. So, Demi where is he? Demaya is the 33 million. We sell Demaya to Man United. He's their first choice goalkeeper. He wasn't going to get the team, but so God. I mean, look at him here. So, Ulla's the backup now. So God's just so much better. So we sold him to fund the others. So he's gone out. Meza has gone out. He went for, I think it's 35 million. So if you look on, you know, overall, okay, he's got some great, you know, mentals and technicals and stuff like that. But he wasn't going to get the team. He's the 10th best midfielder, to be honest. He's only worth 27 million now. So he had to go. And we made a decent profit on him. And then where is he? Mohamed Chabani. We did. We sold him 51 million. Okay, so remember, we got this boy in for nothing, free. He spent six months with us, and we got 51 million from Porto, and he's only worth 33.5. So that is crazy, absolutely crazy. So that's what funded those two players. So, where are we left? Well, the takeovers did come in. They look at the finances, finances are pretty good. We've still got 44 million to spend, which I'm trying to spend at the moment. The takeover came in, and one dropped out, then another dropped out, and another dropped out. And then I was like, middle of January, oh no, I can't sell players, I can't buy players. But thankfully, we did get them sold. So, we got the players in, and we look absolutely incredible. Um, Francois de Jujun, I can't, I can't say his name, yes, we will get to it. Um, he was injured when he came in, so he hasn't played a game yet. So, we'll like to see him. He is now back, he's on the bench today, and I'll show you that in a second. And this is how our Canning You Look team looks. We got Sogard, Batang, Blanc, Kish, Maravich. No changes there. Silva and Jao Pedro. Silva started playing really well again. Uh, Jao Pedro was out for a little while, which is why Essendon played so much. Which is why, again, Essendon's on the highest rating for some reason. Brito one wing, Crawford the other. Raphael falling up front. And where is he gone? De Jong on... De Jong Dang? What's his name? De Jong Dang. I will get that. He is on the bench. He will come on at some point. And our bench is looking really strong. Max Zanardini's down there. Maximo's down there. We did nearly sell Newcomb, but we didn't in the end. I thought, you know what, I'll keep hold of him just in case. We do. I am looking at another central midfield that's come in and a left back for the new season just to cover Batang. But you know what? It's looking really healthy. I mean, look at the top. I mean, look at this. Four and a half star, five star, four and a half star. You swap Brito around and put him as an inside forward there. And he's again, he's the same. Raphael, Fallen, both five stop. Let's get in there and let's beat. Match squad, who, who are they going to give the match number two? I haven't given Diong a match number yet. Whoops. Number 29 there, Diong, just for this season. Anyway, let's. I think Diego, Simi, Diego Simeone manages Inter. I can't remember. I think it was last time he played Inter. It was him. And there he is, Diego Simeone. Uh, Esposito, we know, is really good there. And Weber's quite good, as well as Edu. The Risley, of course. They, we sold them to Inter Milan at the beginning of the season to fund some other things. So they're fairly decent. The Risley was a decent stri uh, defender. I'm going to say striker there. Terrible striker. Look at the San Siro here. It looks gorgeous in this game. Why can't my ground look like this? It should. They won't give me a new one. I did try again to get a new ground, but again, obviously it's 20 years, not 10. I've argued with them right to the point of pressing the button. Okay, we'll leave, which I'm not going to do. But Inter are having the better at the moment. We've had no shots. They've had three. We're going to demand more because that's not good. That's not us. There we are. Back on. We're on to the at least the shots board. Crawford's on a booking. João Pedro's on a booking. Excellent stuff. Silver. João Pedro. Silver. Raphael. Into Crawford. Crawford. Oh, he scored about four or five goals since coming in as well. He's been really good off that wing. And he's had loads of assists. Brito into the box. is headed clear. 
It's picked up by Sylvie. Just needs to turn around and give it. Oh, he doesn't. He gives it to Blanc. Jao Pedro. Blanc again. And highlights over. There we go. Why not? But we've had more. Well, 50 50 ball wise. Brito. Core into the box. It's headed back to Brito. Into the. Oh, straight at Ramiro. Now, Brito's a weird one. He's the best at taking corners, but he's not very good at crossing. How do you square that one? Because normally people can take a corner, can cross a ball. No one's playing particularly well. No one's playing particularly badly. Uh, we're getting to half time, but they have the better of it, which is kind of strange. I'm expecting bigger things from us. Uh, where are we, unlucky boys? No, I'm not happy with that performance. I am absolutely. I'm not not happy at all. So let's see what we can do in the second half. We do have Diong Dang to come on. He can play up front or in either wing. We'll see who's playing badly. Raphael's not having a good game, is he? That he won the golden boot and the Ballon d'Or. Kift. No, I'm not taking Kift off. Um, we will take Raphael off, though. We'll get Diong Dang on for, as an advanced forward. Look at that. Five-star advanced forward. On he comes. Let's see if he can give anything at all. Because this has been a really boring game. All my waffle are going on about how good we are at the beginning. And we're drawing nil-nil. Blanc. To Silva. Silva just about beats his man. Gives it back to Blanc. Silva's having a bad game. He's coming off next. So is Crawford, maybe. Jao Pedro, he's tackled. Brito, fallen. Brito from range. He's at the bar. So I said Crawford was really good, and he's playing awfully. Right, so what do we do here? Um, he's picked up a little bit, but what we'll do is we'll swap those two around. He can play up front as well, by the way. And we'll get San Hardini on. What a player. I mean, we've just got four players up top that can all play on the wing as well. Batang. Jao Pedro, Zanardini, Diong Dang, Fallen, Zanardini, and he hits the post. The keep was down on his knees, knowing he wasn't going to get anywhere near that. We haven't put it away. Substitutions nearly worked there. Brito balls the box, headed clear again. It is all us now, though. They haven't had a high like this half, have they? I say that as they run down the wing. Howen, Zanardini chased him. Good tracking back from Zanardini, considering he's the striker. We had a much better second half, but still, there is Lee. Tardini, all the way back to the goalkeeper. I'm still expecting to beat them 4 or 5 nil at home. Sadi puts it out wide. It's up in the air. Can we get to it? No, we can't. Esposito gets to it. A man I long time admired. Oh, what a tackle from Maravich. And Diong Dang's got it. And he's down the wing. What's he going to do? He puts a ball into the box. It's a good ball, but it's headed clear. And Weber's got it now. Can we kick him? No. Esposito. Weber's going through. I've seen that a mile off. And so God, thank the Lord, so God, such a good goalkeeper. He stops in his tracks. Clears the ball upfield. It's headed back. Jao Pedro to Zanardini. Zanardini. Puts the ball across. Fall and it's blocked. He gets it back. Silver. Diong Dang. And it's straight at Ramiro. Interesting game. But it looks like it's a stay nil though. Which is, well, catchy with a free kick. It's headed just over. Thank the Lord for that. I couldn't be doing with losing this. And there we go, full time. Not the greatest of games. I'm a bit disappointed at that, to be honest. No one's played really well. Um, I'm not happy with that performance out there. We should be comfortably beating them. Comfortably beating them. And, oh, I can't, I can't let you see this. Anyway, going to click on for the next. <laughs> you, uh, we're trying to sign this boy for next season. Rodrigo Sales. Look at him. And the reason why is he can come in midfield there and centre-back. So why not? I mean, look at the stats on this boy. 22 years old. So, yeah, we are trying to sign him. I'm going to click on now for... Who are we playing? Burnley. And I'll see you in a second. Welcome back then for the Burnley game. Just one change. I brought Esther in for Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro needs a bit of a rest. Like I said, he's only just back from injury. Um, Dong Jang isn't quite ready to come on yet. So, we're going to go with... So, God, Batang, Blanc, Kift, Maravich, Silva, Esther, Brito, Crawford, Fallen and Raphael. And that's hope. Crawford show you what he's all about. He scored so many goals since he got here. It's unreal, but apparently he's camera shy, as all my new signings seem to be. Only two in. It's not like we've made, well, I suppose we've made all those youngsters, but they're all a way out. Nathan Ake is the Burnley manager, bizarrely. And do I recognise any of their players? Nicholas? That couldn't be our Nicholas, could it? I don't think so. Anyway, um,. Well, favourite reason we should be winning comfortably. That is the that is the truth. They are six or seventh, I think. But they're not in great form. They've won all the last five. So where are I was gonna say they're there. Brito, ball into the box, headed clear. Picked up by Buhali. That's a cracking name, isn't it? Buhali, down the wing. Can we get a foot in? Batang gets it. Blanc, Batang, Silver. All the way back to Sogard. Sogard. 
Lumps it forward to Crawford. Crawford cuts inside, puts the ball out to Brito. Good ball. Brito into the box, shoots wildly over the bar. He had plenty to aim at there, and that is just daft, to be honest. On his weaker foot as well. But, again, we're having most of the game so far. Silva crosses the box, and it's headed home by Kift. Kift, the eternal, he's 6 foot 5. We know he's going to score headers, and he scored a few this season. Since we changed up the... We changed the tactics on the corners and the free kicks, so more aimed at him again. And there you go. Goalkeeper's going to look at himself. It's gone. He's jumped for it. It's gone right over his head, which is a bit weird. You don't see that often. Uh, Blanc is taking a knock. I'll sort. Let's get Maximo on for Blanc. That should make sense. Maximo, Maximo. Again, just as good a player. We've also got Maravich then go in there too. And we've got players out low in the complaining centre-back. So getting rid of the Rizzoli wasn't really a problem. We look at the stats, we've had five shots, two on target, they've had one. Just the one. Although, it's not exactly the battering I was expecting. Are we going through another one of those blips where we just lose a couple of games or just don't play very well? What are we doing? Work ball. Ah, we're shooting on sight. We shouldn't be shooting on sight. I was supposed to take that off. But half time, we're 1 0 up. Uh, I'm not I'm not happy though. I'm not happy with what I've just seen from this team. I want more. So give me more. Silver's playing well. Britta's playing well. Crawford's doing okay. Kift, Batang. Maravich. To Silver. Silver. To Batang. Batang to Essendon. Essendon to Silver. Silver. Crawford nods it on. Fallen's there. And it's 2-0. There we go. Crawford. Now, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. I'm going to say he meant that header to Fallen. But it didn't look like it, did it? Fallen again. Scoring goals. He's now joint with Raphael at the top. Which is good stuff. Yeah, would you say he meant that? I, I think he meant it anyway. So, 2-0. Good stuff. Good stuff. We will keep an eye on Brito's... He looks kind of tired, doesn't he? I mean, his, his, his little heart going down quicker than anyone else's. We're on 66 minutes. We will bring him off. But look what we can do. Don Yang. Look at that. Better player on that wing. Just the, just the disgusting amount of options we've got now. Adelson Francisco. Tries to play it inside, but Silver gets there and then gives it away. Nice, Silver. And there's a shot and it's blocked. And that that's Burnley's highlight, that. That's a highlight for Burnley. Bizarre. Uh, Maravich to Raphael. Raphael to Maravich. Silver. Back to Maravich. Inside to Kift. Silver. Out to Crawford. Crawford into Raphael. Good ball. Fallen. Back to Crawford, who's in. He's at the post. He makes those little runs, and then because he's right-footed, he puts it across the goalkeeper, but... He's had a couple of chances this episode. I haven't put any away. Batang. Fallen. Jongdang. Silver. Essendon. To Silver. Jongdang. Fallen. Batang. Can I get a ball into the box? Cuts it back to Silver. Batang again. To Raphael. And it's... Oh! Dongjang on his... Premier League debut. Should have put that away. At the back post. But there's a good block in there, I think. Um, let's get Silver off for Agner. Yeah. Keep Silver fresh. Crawford's a little bit on the tired side, so we'll get him off too. Ball to the box, headed clear by Kift. Of course it is. He heads everything clear. Pereira, Jeffrey, ball over the top towards Rodriguez. He does get there, but it's in Sogard's hand. Are we getting a breakaway here? Sogard just relaxes things, calm down. So no break. Ball who forward, not on by Forlan. It's picked up by Rodriguez. Jong Dang needs to toughen up a bit for this league, I think. Davis brings it forward. Puts it out wide to Francisco. Francisco, past Maravich. Can we get the ball off him? Maravich does. Good lad, Maravich. He gives it to Essendon. Essendon hoofs it clear. And Raphael's in. It's gone over the top of the, goal, the defender. And it's straight to Hansen. Right, what we'll do is we'll swap those two round. Crawford off for Zanardini. And I can't make any more subs. Did, when did I make three? Apparently I did. I don't remember making the other one. Agner. Jong Dang. And who else? Oh, Maximo, yeah. Ah, the injury in the first half. I was going to say, he didn't make any subs. But, 20 so shots, 6 on target. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. But, you know, it's a comfortable 2-0 win. Happy with that, why not? Can't be angry when they win 2-0 and don't concede. Um, how much long can you keep this incredible run going? Until the end of the season, my friend. Until the end of the season. So, this all leaves us when we get there. You've seen, it's starting to chug a bit with the amount of seasons we've got in. Uh, where are we? We are, again, still top of the league. 11 clear in our city. They do have a game in hand. Fallen hasn't caught him. I thought he had. 
Fall in a Raphael. I mean, look at these. It's all Darlington players. Look at this. It's just nuts, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. So, when are we coming back? Well, we'll be back for the inter second leg. So, I can't believe I've scrolled this far down. I mean, all those games. I played so many games. I didn't want to stop. I just didn't want to stop. It was so good. Um, inter and I'll play Spurs because we played City earlier in the season. So, unless City are second. Are City second? They are. We'll come back with City then. Just, they're, they're, it's basically a title decider, isn't it? With us being 11 points clear. So we'll come back tomorrow for Inter and City. Inter City. Look at that. Uh, the West Ham firm. And yeah. It, like I said, tomorrow night for the stream, just an hour and a bit. And then we're going to go over and do the Football League review with, or preview, sorry, with the, on the championship. Uh, if you are enjoying this and you want to su support the channel, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.